Rich Gonzalez from Prep Cal Track with Marcus Moda, the sophomore from Stockdale High School in Bakersfield. Central Section Division I finals today at Woodward Park. 15.29 for the sophomore. That's the number two sophomore time in school history. The only one faster, Blake Haney, 15.23. You got one more chance at that in nine days. Today was your first pressure race, postseason with a known commodity in Miguel Villar from Madera South in the race. What were the nerves like if there was any before the race, and how did you feel during the race? And in, in reflecting, how do you feel afterward? How I feel, I feel like I I did what, what was planned. I did, I had no um, pacing strategy. I wasn't gonna go pacing. I was just gonna go racing. Just stick right behind them and go as long as I can. And then if it came down to the wire, that's what it came down to. But unfortunately, it didn't. He got me at the last 800 meters to go. Okay, so he beat you by about 12 <clears throat> seconds or so. You mentioned you didn't have a pacing strategy, and he came out very, very, oh, fast. very fast. Oh, so here you go. He's motoring that first mile. You're a sophomore in your first big race. You get to the mile mark. How did you feel at that point in time, and what's going through your mind? That first mile, I was already tired. Like, he got me, like, physically. And then that second mile came, and I was, I was tiring. But when that hill came, like, a little surge in my body, like, realized, like, oh, I got this. Like, this is... This is, this is me, and then I just kind of stick, stick with them for a while. And then once we got to like the last, again, 800 meters to go, that, that last mile was killer, and I just had, I didn't have very much left in the tank. Mm -hmm. Am I uh, wrong or correct? Was this only your, the second time this year you have not won the race? Is that correct? Yes, that, that is correct. The second other one was Woodbridge, which was a, you know, a loaded race, and <laughs> your first big time in the spotlight. And again, today was another pressure thing, and you keep improving in those situations. You keep developing. Um, what was your goal coming into the season? Coming in, uh, on this course, I wanted to hit a 15-23 or break it. Really? Yes. So you already thinking that big already coming into the season? Mm -hmm, coming wow. into the season. And then I also wanted to make it to, I, I know it's a big goal, but I want to make it to Foot Locker Nationals, mm -hmm. which will, it's a really good goal for me. I, right. I, I, I really want to do that. So. <laughs> I hear you. So now, did you feel like... You mentioned that Miguel made a move of like 800 meters left, mm -hmm. and you kind of wished you could have stayed together a little bit longer. You're, you're a bit tired, and your, your mind wandered a little bit. Um, was there anything you may have learned today from today's race? I know it just happened just a few minutes ago. Anything so far that you've been able to process that you may have learned from, or, or not just yet? I think what I, what I definitely learned is trying to push push him more in the middle of the race, and like try to get that surge. So like we're going back and forth instead of just like trying to sit behind him. So like give him a little bit more challenge so it hurts a little, both of us. And yeah. Okay, so again, this year you've had a lot of invitational victories, a great season so far. Definitely, from my perspective, the best under the radar talent in the state. And again, a very good showing today, 15-29 on the state meet course and we're nine days away. Marcus Mode looking really, really strong here for Stockdale High School at the 2016 Central Section Championships.